Wake up, Ted. Wake up. Bear, wake up. What in the... Why are you yelling? You passed out. No. <clears throat> I was just... Just resting my eyes for a minute. Shut up and listen. I was in the auditorium just now and saw some commotion up here. Up here? It seems someone snuck up on you and hit you over the head with that bottle. Sure. Why not? That's what happened. I think whoever <laughs> knocked you out locked the door behind you. Wait, we're locked in? Most definitely. Hmm. Any other exits? There's a projection window, but the projector is too close. You can't squeeze through. Okay. Let's see if you can move that thing somehow. Okay. So what's going on, guys? Welcome to Bear With Me, The Lost Robots. A <coughs> prequel to the actual uh, Bear With Me main game. And as I understand it, um, this is going to be the case that was referenced in the start or in the early game, uh, early play of the main game. We heard about a robot, lost robot case back then. And I am playing these in, what would you call, the, the order that they came out. So this is the last part of this entire adventure. I was told though that the this uh, prequel is almost the same length of the entire main game that was split into three episodes. So I'm really looking forward to getting into this. So without further ado, let's start exploring. Lot of old Carrot Hill. Someone hit Ted over the head with it. Yeah, those bastards, you know. Pup Fiction, 12 Angry Hens, Citizen Dane. Seen any? All of them. Betty used to make me take her to the cinema all the time. Betty? Let's not. Hmm. Could be something useful inside. Yep. I think so too. <clears throat> it's a wrench. I'll take it. Broken projector. Project base. It's resting on these small rails. It's filled with stuff, I guess. Good guess. Yep. It's locked, as established earlier. Yeah, but I don't have the key. <laughs> okay. I need to find another way out. Fine, fine. Okay, so let's see if this small wrench is gonna help us with this thing. There. We should be able to move it now. Okay. Let's try to move it then. There. We can get a bit closer to the window now. What are you even doing here? It was your sister's idea. It's this whole thing. Hey, where is she? How come you're here? She had to take care of something. She asked me to step in for a bit. She did? That's what I just said. Hmm. Anyways. I'm not explaining all of this to you. Why not? You'll be gone as soon as Amber gets back, so what's the point? We both know this detective game isn't your cup of tea, superhero boy. She... She what? Where is she? I told you. She had something to do. You know, in real life. Hmm. She hasn't told me anything. Well, she was in a hurry. All this sounds really strange, kid. You know that. Look, you can talk to her when she gets back. Get off my case. Fine. Let's focus on getting the hell out of here first, and then I'll brief you in. Okay, so I thought that this was maybe uh, uh, Amber's father, but it's her brother. That's fine by me. So it's not that far back in time compared to the main game. It's spinning, but that's about it. I should turn it off first. I kind of like my fingers. Okay. Yeah, it's slowing down. Fine. 
I'll just leave it here on the floor. Why would I want to remove it then? Hmm. This could be our way out. Maybe we can use the projector to pull it out somehow. Pull it out somehow. Okay. So. Three-legged table. Film reels. So are we looking for something to tie these things together? Or... The window is stuck. I need to find a way to yank it open. Hmm. Okay, can we push this back closer then? You can't tighten the screws by hand. I'm not asking you to. I was thinking... Hmm. Cinema ticket and wrench. Okay, so if we tighten this back up in this position... Let's lock it in place. <coughs> so that's stuck now. But don't we need some... Oh! White sheet. I'll take it with me. Yep, let me guess we can use this to tie between the window and the real handle. I have to open the window first. This won't work. Hmm. I better try something else. That goes that idea. So, oh, a trick film reel. I didn't see that. I'll take this one. Maybe we can use it on that window over there. Huh. It's as thick as they come. Must be something important. So we put this here, and then tie it to the window, and then boot it up. Now if I could tie this to the window, maybe we could use a projector to pull it open. Take the okay. loose end. This, this would work. There. The film looks strong enough. Go for it. Okay. Let's see if we were right about this. Yeah, easy. Great job, kid. Vandalism at its best. Okay, so we can get out now. That's it. Our way out of here. <laughs> Let's get out of here then. It's too high to jump. We need some kind of rope. Oh, yeah, of course. We need the sheet. This sheet is too short by itself. Hmm. Okay. What then? Too short by itself. Anything we can use to tie it to? Hmm. Film reels. Oh, another white sheet. I'm just missing things left, right, and center I'll here. I'll take it with me. We can tie these into a rope. Exactly. There. Now I can use it as a rope. And let's use this on the window then. There we go. Holy sheet, kid. You actually <laughs> pulled it off. <clears throat> nice to see they haven't lost their sense of humor from the main game. There. Nothing to it. You didn't pull a muscle, did you? Pull a muscle? I'm made of stuffing. Anyways, let's get going. Go where? What were you even doing here? Okay, quick briefing. Robots are disappearing all over the city, and their union hired me and your sister to find out who's behind it. And? And what? Who's behind it? What do you? We're in the middle of the goddamn investigation. Sounds like sloppy work to me. Yeah, like you'd know what work sounds like. Fair enough. There was this guy who went missing, Robbie, left a coat behind with a movie ticket. So? The date on the ticket, it was the same night he went missing. Okay, I get it. Anyways, I didn't find anything, but somebody else <coughs> was apparently bothered by us snooping around here. 
That's good. How's that good? Relatively. It means we're on the right track. Let's go back to the entrance. Rossum, the old robot who works here. He must have seen someone enter after us. To the entrance, Ted. Keep it down. God damn it. What is this? Loud idiot day? <laughs> yep. Ted is the same as he was in the main game. Just angry drunk. Well, oh, so he's gone. <clears throat> so, where's this robot of yours? Hmm. I guess he left. He left, all right. Left everything wide open, all the lights on. Is trust not valued anymore by your generation? I can't tell if you're being serious. I'm not. Where the hell is this Ross guy, Ted? Rossum. And I don't know, kid. He was here before. He let me in. There are bolts all over the floor. And it kind of looks like... God damn it. You think? He's gone, kid. Whoever locked us in there, they've got him now. So? Now what? Look around for a bit. See if you can find anything. Sure. Screws and bolts. These screws. They belong to old Rossum. How can you tell? Stainless steel. All the robots are using them. Plus, they weren't here before. I'll pick them up. Hmm. It's some sort of flyer. Jungle Jazz Bar. Let's take it. Might it says, be a clue. Get your ass down to Jungle Jazz Bar this weekend and try our famous Southside Fizz. One free drink with this coupon. Take it with you. Um, I feel like it's an important clue. Hmm. <laughs> the coupon part was thrown off, Ted. Throw it away then. Who cares? I'll take it with me. Maybe we could use it somehow. Just trash. I don't feel like going through it. You and me both, kid. Okay, we are still not digging through th trash then. Huge film reel. That looks stupidly dangerous. Yeah, sure. Let me just grow several stories high real fast. Who are you talking to? Okay, okay. Planet Cheese? What the? What's the deal? Who knows? These new ones. They're all the same. This one feels especially cheesy. But um ch Um Rope Barrier. This could only really stop you, Bear. Who's <clears throat> that? A short joke. Oh. Hey, it's the pole that keeps the ropes uh in between. It's called a stanchion. Really? Yep. I had to look it up. Can we bring it? I'll take it with me. I could use it as a club, maybe. Take it There's through. no one here. And I could see some signs of struggle. Nah, I don't want to sell tickets. Okay, fine. Don't want to sell tickets. Stanchion. Yeah. We... No, that doesn't need screws. No. Okay. Can we use this too? Nah, I need to keep this. Hmm. And, okay, this also takes place in Paper City. Okay, so is that... All there is to it out here? Seems like it. We can't go back in, can't dig through the trash, and we're not gonna touch that, apparently. Let's head back to the Union and report to Lifty. Never took you for the by-the-book guy. Me neither. But what else are we going to do? Stand here like a couple of boobs? I mean... That's a phrase I haven't heard before. Stand there like a couple of boobs. <coughs> Robot Union. Oh, it must be sometime in the past, because in the main game we had, like, the whole, uh, pier area down here. But that hasn't been built yet. Oh, and the city sign is also under construction. That's, uh, pretty neat little details. Oh, 
Okay, let's go to Robot Union. It all started a couple of days ago. I just got released from the hospital after two weeks of intensive care. I got messed up bad. And by her, of all people. Betty was always on the emotional side. And when her blood gets to boiling, all hell breaks loose. It's what I really liked about her. The bullet grazed my left ear, the doctor said. And if it weren't for the fall, I would have gotten away unscathed. But then... I wouldn't have learned anything. She tried to do me in. That much is clear. I can't really hold it against her. Not after what I did. And I'd rather have her do it than some lowlife down at the docks. No point in crying about it, really. No point in doing anything at all anymore, I thought. Amber pulled me out of it for a while. Made me take on this case. I guess it's better than doing nothing. I have to keep my mind busy. When I'm left alone, I tend to languish. Anyways, this case, it's all sorts of wrong. Someone is hell-bent on taking all the tin heads out of commission. Parts are being left behind in dark alleys. Mouths are being kept shut and blind eyes are being turned. Lifty Workovsky, head of the robot union. Odd broad, she was the one who called us. I guess having all them robots missing is starting to reel in some real bad rap. After this last guy, Robbie disappeared. We went snooping around his place for a bit. There was nothing out of the ordinary, but we found this ticket stub in one of his jackets. Not much of a lead, but it was the only one we had. Amber was supposed to meet me at the cinema, but she was a no-show. Flint's a good kid. I have nothing against him, but we never spent all that much time together. Seeing as all the women in my life decided to collectively quit, I guess this is as good a time as any. I just hope the kid won't slow me down too much. <clears throat> well, you sure slowed us down back there. I'm shorter than you, goddammit. I can't walk as fast. Well, maybe if you would pick up the pace a little, I wouldn't need to wait pick on you. Pick up the pace? It's, it's not. You, isn't it's it? not all about it's the steps I was kid. I'm shorter, and way. therefore have shorter steps. It's basic physics. What are you? Hey! You could have walked hey, a bit slower, is what I'm saying. Who's this kid now? This is Doug. Dougie. He sells insurance. Name's Flint, ma'am. I mean, really, Ted, how many of these kids do you intend to put in peril? Is the girl dead already? She's fine. He's stepping in for a bit. Listen, we were at the cinema just now. We found a ticket stub in Robbie's jacket. I imagine so. The union had a meeting at the Lux that night. And you thought now was a good time to mention this? You're a real piece of work, you know that. Oh, careful, you don't fall off that high horse, Bear. You seem fond of falling lately. <sighs> Fine. Whatever. Anyways, there was another one tonight. You ruined another bar owner with your excessive debt? Rossum Heel, <laughs> the old guy who sells tickets. Know him? Yeah, but... He went missing tonight. Holy motherboard! Ted, you need to do something. This is starting to look really bad. Yeah, starting to anyways. Wanted to let you know you're off the paper daily. Robbie worked there, right? He was an accountant there. Go, you two. Get there fast. As fast as our feet will carry us. Which, in his case, turns out he's not that fast. Don't you own a car? You're like 40. A car? He barely owns a pair of pants. I like this kid. <laughs> Where did you find him? He was on sale down at Stupid Kids Depot. Want him? I'm all set. Get out of my office, Bear. And next time, show me some results. Yeah, yeah. See you around. Bye, Miss Wachowski. Take care, kid. Okay, so... Now... We're going to paper daily.
Hey, Sam. Ted, you're healing up nicely. Only on the outside. I went to see you at the PC General. You're out cold, though. That morphine, let me tell you. Literally the only good thing about that place. Yeah, plus all the healthcare. Sure, if you're into that sort of thing. Listen, Sam, I didn't come here to reminisce. Right, you're here because of Robbie. How could you know that already? It's his job, kid. There's a saying in Paper City. When in doubt, ask Blabbermouth. There's a saying like that? No, I just made it up. Catchy. I thought no one would be here this late. You mean no CD? He's always here. I'd rather if he wasn't. Why? You plan on doing something shady? Only if you consider breaking and entering shady. Go ahead. OCD's <laughs> arranging tomorrow's print. I'll cover for you. Thanks, Sam. I owe you one. You owe me more than one, Bear. I keep a tab. You, lowlife. I missed you. Good thing Betty's not a great shot, buddy. It's nice to have you around. Okay. So, paper daily. Let's see what's around here. Staggering scandal. Scrupulous <coughs> senator spotting stealing several small silver statuettes, sources say. Look at that, kid. What a view. It's really something. Wait, you're looking down at the Silverstone's pub. Ah, best carrot ale in the city. And like the rudest waitresses. My kind of place. Of course it would be. Holy sheets of paper, bear man. Holy sh Level mount. Yeah, we were, uh, I remember him from the first game. He's pretty decent. OCD's board. It's filled with small clippings and pictures. He's arranging tomorrow's print or making a scrapbook. Hey, there's a typo on this one. What are you doing, Ted? Now I need to do it all over again. <laughs> Have fun. So how long is that going to take him? Hmm. What if I keep messing with it? He's going to do something hey, else? there's a typo on this one. What are you doing, Ted? Now I need to do it all over again. Have fun. Hmm. Okay, so... Let's just talk to him then. Instead of messing with his board. Hey there. Uh, I don't have time for your shenanigans, Bear. Point taken. Okay, okay. Emergency capac... Capacitor? Hmm? Okay. Guessing that's in case you are... a robot. I've seen these things around town. Never understood what they are. It's a starter capacitor. A what? A starter capacitor. It helps, uh, to start up the motor. When did you get so smart? I like this sort of stuff. Can we take it? If I just take it, the editor will notice. I need to replace it with something. Okay. Need anything, Tedski? See if they have rubbing carrot juice. <laughs> Cooler than what? Yeah, cooler than what? <laughs> nah, I'm fine. I don't want to waste imaginary water. It says, always check for sapling errors. <coughs> sapling errors, yep. Anything about this news clipping? Sitting man stands up for himself. Hmm. Can we go to the accounting office without him spassing out? Yeah, apparently so we can. Oh man. Papers. It's only paperwork, kid. No need to waste our best years. Okay, so what are we looking for? Something out of place. Like? I don't know. Something, God damn it. Do what your sister would have done. Detect. <sighs> Fine. And don't give me that attitude. You wanted to help. Now help. I said fine. I'll look around or whatever. Just looking at these gives me a headache. Pencil sharpener? 
check that thing out, will you? Why? It stands out. How did the pencil sharpener stand? Hey, you're right. It's not a pencil sharpener at all. How did you know? Do you see any pencils around? All these papers were typed. Well, when you put it like that... So, what is it? It's some sort of scanner or something. Fingerprint? Could be. Most likely, yes. Okay. No, I'm as sharp as it is. Whoops. Sorry about that. There we go. Push the right buttons. There's a page in here. It's covered in a bunch of numbers. Huh. Sounds about right. Anything worth looking at? I really have no idea. Cool lamp. What's cool about it? I just think it's neat. The 28th of November circled. It just says meeting. It's that union meeting they had at the Lux. Oh, that's right. The 18th of October was also circled. It has a little heart next to it, and... Okay, I get it. Robbie's life is full of various meetings and excitement. Well, was. Don't jump to any conclusions just yet, kid. Stacks of papers. Filing cabinet. How many filing drawers <coughs> do you have, Robbie? I was thinking the same thing. Let's see if there's anything worthwhile in here, then. What? Oh, no. What? It's a noose. I mean, we've all been there. I'll take it. <laughs> Feels like I'm doing him a favor. Okay. A noose. Yep. That's a noose. The liquor cabinet. Let. Don't even think about it. I'm not carrying you around. Uh, diploma? This diploma is a bit crooked. That's odd. Why? Who in the hell puts a financial accounting diploma on their wall? It's got hinges on one side. Wait, what? Yeah, so I guess it's some kind of hidden safe? Ah, most likely. Oops, didn't mean to interrupt him there. Nah, I'm not an accountant. Nah, I need to keep this. Okay. Nah, I'm not an accountant. This diploma is a bit crooked. Why? Who in the hell puts a financial accounting diploma on their wall? It's got hinges on one side. Wait, what? Yeah, so I guess it's some kind of hidden safe? Ah, most likely. Look around. There's got to be some way to open it. What is it with cardboard boxes in this city? <laughs> Yeah, he had issue, issues with that in the main game as well. Stacks of paper, pencil sharpener. Guess we don't want to look at lamps in this one. But do I have something I can use on this thing? No, that doesn't need screws. Is there a print on this maybe that could be scanned? I'll keep this a bit longer. You never know. News? I... No, no that, that won't, won't work. work. Yeah. You said this? I... Nope. Okay. Some way of opening it. Hmm. So... Fine. Okay. So what, guys? I think it's time we take our first break here. And when we come back, hopefully I'll be able to figure out how these things are connected and what we'd have to do to actually uh, open this hidden safe and whatever this uh, shady pencil sharpener slash fingerprint reader um, is all about. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Since this is the since this is the uh, first episode of this little let's play, um, if you enjoyed, please consider giving the video a like. It will help me out a lot. And be sure to stay tuned for the next one. Until then, guys, take care. Bye.